So I know this video is a bit late, as uh, these videos are supposed to be uploaded on January 1st, sometimes on January 2nd, but, um, you know, I, I messed up, alright? Just, let's, let's not get into that. But anyway, Happy New Year, everyone. We have now entered the year 2022, which, by the way, is the first year since the year 2000 that we have three of the same digits in a year number. And this won't happen again until 2111. So unless I live until 107, I think this is the only year that I'll ever experience in my life that you have three of the same digits in a year. I'm pretty sure this applies to a lot of you guys as well. I don't think I even know anyone who watches my video who was born before the year 2001, so I'm... Um, you know, I am not gonna live on 107 by the way. I am pretty sure I have a worse diet than freaking Nikocado Avocado. Ah, uh, actually, no, 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 I don't, but like, you know, I'm just... No, I'm not that healthy. Anyway, 2021, the year of vaccinations, masks with polygons, masks without polygons, invasions, boat traffic jams, you're fired and whatever the heck this is gonna lead to has now ended and it sucked. Honestly, I'm not even sure if I'm even happy that this year has ended. This year, or at least for me, but I'm pretty sure for a lot of you guys as well, was just as bad, if not worse than 2020. But what's that supposed to mean? With the ever-increasing case numbers and, you know, the continuing patterns of everything else, 2022 might just end up becoming an even worse year than 2020 and 2021 combined. Also, from my point of view as well, I barely did anything this year. I failed three uni courses and dropped out of another one. Had police barge into our house despite us doing nothing wrong. Actually, we had police barge into their house because that house is not even ours anymore due to the stupid New South Wales government. So just to let you guys know, if you thought 2021 was a tough year for you guys, I also had that happen to me as well. Also, shout out to a teen from the UK and Dylan Ramirez. You guys got this absolutely spot on. Unlike my optimistic self who thought that this virus would have been faded by the end of the year. So yeah. When am I ever gonna be happy about a year again? I just wanna go back to the start of 2020 and just reminisce about the wondrous, joyful moments of 2019. When can that happen again? Can 2023 Oscar finally make a positive remark on 2022 for being such a wonderful year? I really hope so, but um, the last time I was this optimistic, I was also wrong mystic that's not a word. But anyway, enough 2021 abuse. Oh my gosh, I said that last year as well. It is now 2022, and as always, new year, new me. And that statement, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, was what she said. So it's time to set some new year resolutions for 2022. But before that, how did I go for my 2021 set of resolutions? So last year, my resolution was to manage my money better. And I'm glad to say I've actually completed it this time. Nah, there's no joke here. I've, I've actually done it. Like, I know you're probably expecting like a punchline somewhere here, but um... I've actually managed my money a bit better. Keyword, bit. Because the resolution was so simple. I literally just had to manage my money better. I mean, I'm sure I would have done it uh, since I actually created a spreadsheet, noting down everything I spent and like all my income and all that. I actually wanted to develop this into an actual iPhone app that actually helped to do that for you and actually a couple of newer tools as well. But just like everything else I did this year, I couldn't be bothered. And maybe this might be a future video if you're interested. I developed an app that tracks all your spendings. Would you guys be interested in seeing that? Let me know down in the comments. So yeah, I'm not really celebrating it like I technically did with my uh, manage time better resolution, which I failed by the way, but I still celebrated. I, I, I don't know how that works, but it's definitely one step forward. So for this year, I'll set myself three resolutions this time because maybe I can actually achieve them. Well, I mean, they're technically not resolutions, but I also want to set myself some goals anyway. The first one would be to upload at least 30 videos. I uploaded eight videos last year and I am not very proud of that to say the least. I mean, one of them wasn't even an actual video. It was just me announcing that I'm pot sexual. <laughs> I mean, was it an April Fool's joke? Uh, I mean, I honestly don't know to this day. It, it, it could have been. So this year I'm aiming for 30. And there have to be actual entertaining videos on the main channel, unlike, you know, all of these videos. Which I ended up stopping doing anyway. Oscar, what the heck? They're literally 10 minute unedited videos of you just talking about stuff. Why? 
But anyway, the second resolution is to earn at least $18,200 this year. Just low enough so that I don't have to pay any tax. Capitalism, ladies and gentlemen. And the final resolution is to complete at least five university courses this year. So I'm getting back on my resolution trend. And uh, honestly, if I can complete all these resolutions, I'm actually making good progress in my life. So we'll see how that goes. And finally, the longest segment of every New Year's video I do, questions of time. So this is a segment where I answer 51 questions that I created myself and compare them with the years prior to see how I have uh, changed as a person. This is going to be the third year of me doing it, so um, <laughs> let's see how it goes. My name is Oscar Liang and that's not ever going to change unless my future wife convinces me to change it to a family name. I am 18 years old. January 5th, 2022. Ah, hopefully this is the only year I have to say that. I solid four in my friend group, uh, and one I met in uni for a total of five. One more might be coming in a few days from the recording of this video. Honestly, I'm not even trying at this point. <laughs> Just kidding, I'm lonely as crap. Still work at my dad's pretty often. Uh, I also got a job at Coles for like... Not even three moms, and uh, also DoorDash, which, which I don't really want to do since it's technically illegal for me to do it. All of that averages out for a pay of about $20 an hour. Still the same 2009 Honda Accord. I thought I would have upgraded by now, but um, unfortunate events happen. Still the same iPhone X. Planning on upgrading when the 14 Pro comes out. I would probably say uh, The let's Business down, by Tiesto. Not really there. sure though, plenty of good songs I discovered this year. Desert Star hasn't dropped anything recently, so I'm um, starting to fall off a bit on my list. Blue. Right now, my whole setup has kind of like a blue theme to it. After getting a new RGB keyboard, RGB mouse, and you know, RGB lights. I'm not sure if you can see them in the background, but you know, they're there. And I even changed my uh, PC's lighting from green to blue, just to match the whole setting. Sushi. Nothing better than a finely chopped salmon on top of a bit of rice, topped off with soy sauce and wasabi. Delicious! Mighty Eagle 73. Tottenham Hotspur. That answer will never change, but uh, I slowly lost interest in football nowadays, so um, I don't really even care nowadays. A software engineer. Uh, preferably one that you could travel the world whilst doing it. Either the BMW 545e or the 745LE. The M5 and the M8 are still great and all, but uh, they mo mainly focus on motorsports and are huge gas guzzers and doesn't provide as much luxury and comfort. The 545e and the 745LE are better for the environment and that's one thing we need nowadays. Realistically, of course, Still the 2 on AI. I have 624 on Mighty Eagle 73, uh, 170 on Mighty underscore Eagle 073, uh, 38 on M Source, 150 on Instagram, and 24 on Twitter. Went to uni for the first time, uh, drank alcohol for the first time, and played League of Legends for the first time. And for the 1,000th time. No joke, I've literally played 1,685 games total on all of my games combined. Uh, one of my second cousins in China gave birth to my second cousin once removed back in April. Technically not someone that I'm that close with, but uh, giving birth is pretty rare anyway. No, two years in a row, let's keep that up. This is the third year in a row I did not leave Australia. My passport has literally been expired for 18 months already and I've done nothing about it. Other than that, I visited uh, Newcastle on the 30th of May, uh, Blue Mountains on the 10th of June, uh, and Melbourne slash Geelong on the 27th to the 29th of December. Is it gonna be the fourth this year? Knowing Corona, probably will be. A girlfriend and a new car. 26th of May, uh, because it was when I lost my house. Uh, probably 30th of May as well because I went to Newcastle. Probably getting a, an official uh, blindfold solved in Geelong. Comp 1511. Programming fundamentals. A guaranteed distinction which turned into a fail. No, I didn't. No accusations of getting coronavirus this year. My new, uh, well, not really that new anymore, uh, Dell Inspiron 15. Thanks to my new spending tracker spreadsheet, I was able to deduce that most of my money was spent on buying electronic devices and computery sort of stuff. Mostly because of that laptop I spent, which cost over a grand. Sometimes before I go on a trip, I just can't wait, so I might be able to sleep the night before. Uh, which is actually really dangerous since I might fall asleep on the next day whilst driving. Uh, in fact, uh, on the day of recording this video, uh, tomorrow I'm supposed to head up all the way to Brisbane and I can't freaking wait for that. So, um, yeah, that's one thing I'm excited about. Not really applicable for this year since uh, there's just so much that has been going on. No difference. 
Both years have been relatively depressing as heck. No difference. Been a solid 65 kg for the whole year. Richer, but only because of Centerlink. Probably going out and working more. Procrastinating and playing League of Legends. As far as I'm concerned, 2021 can just go die in a fire. You will not be missed. Squid Game. Uh, probably a bit overrated, but uh, it has a really interesting storyline that I think all of us can relate to. Uh, even if you don't, you can learn a lot from this guy. I mean, one day you might become him if you're not careful enough. Not that I can think of. Also, not that I can think of. But then, like, I don't really hate anyone except for some certain dictators around the world, so, um... Yeah. I honestly don't even know why I added this question to the question of time. I don't read books. Got back into playing piano recently, uh, since I had to move the piano from my garage to right behind me, since the garage is not even ours anymore. And also found out some classical music, especially those from Liszt, are actually pretty great, despite the time period. My green provisional license. My new car. A Japanese film called My Tomorrow, Your Yesterday. A, a tragic romantic film that somehow still had a happy ending. Uh, unlike this piece of shit. Absolutely nothing! Thank you, Corona! Uh, actually, I did have like a lu rather luxurious dinner at home, so I guess that counts. If the vaccine was actually 100% effective, or at least 80%, our corona problem wouldn't have been so bad by now. Uh, actually, instead, it's more like 20%. Also, I realized having a girlfriend really isn't that much better. It, it just gives you newer problems that you have to deal with. Still one one though. Jacket of any color, uh, skinny jeans, and Nikes. Uh, pretty much how I dress since 2017. I'm not wearing a jacket right now since it's like 30 degrees in my house, but normally I do. Mr. Beast. Uh, this guy is always doing great things and making such an impact on our society and environment, especially with Team Seas and Team Trees. To think I actually unsubscribed from this guy in 2017 due to his crappy video style that he did back in the day. Not really anyone as of this moment. Uh, haven't really experienced that feeling since 2016, really. Another guy called Brian, uh, who is the sixth fastest Cuba in all of Australia. That mitochondria is the powerhouse of this- Nah, I'm just kidding. But, um, I learned that, uh, you should always handle a micro SD card with extreme care because of how tiny they are. This one mistake cost me around $120 in lost equipment. I honestly don't even want to make any this year, in case I end up jinxing it. Alright, let's watch this. Such great technology, and dominate- Hang on. For the world as a whole, I think the coronavirus should be mostly faded by the end of this year. And, and we all know that's not true. We all know that's not true. And personally, I will be at UNSW doing Bachelor of Science and Bachelor of Education. And that's I still, still won't be able to transfer to a higher course yet. Oh, I that's also kind of true, but um, I might actually transfer to a lower course. Bridge 13 seconds on 3x3 three three and be able to solve a 3x3 like three three in like 2 minutes. Right. And, uh, oh! Right, I had that prediction as well. That's right. I saw, I, Because I thought I would learn M2 by now, but like, I haven't really been practicing because of, you know, certain other more interesting things. But yeah, I have a couple of more jobs that have legit employers instead of just you know, my dad. And that's, there we go. Yeah, that's, that's kind of true. I mean, Coles definitely had an actual employer, but like DoorDash, it's more like freelancing. To 2022, Oscar, first of all, hello. Hey, hope you're doing well. Hope you haven't failed that one easy resolution I've set for you. Well, lucky for you, I haven't. I also hope you found another, you know, better job. And I guess my question I to have, you I is, have. um, what do you think of me right now? Uh, do you look down on me saying, Oh wow, this version of me is cringy, or do you want to go back to today? Honestly, I, 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 I can't really tell the difference between this version of Oscar and this version of Oscar, so... Um... <laughs> Not much! Also, what do you have that I don't have yet? I... League of Legends skills. It is what it is, man. I, I, I barely changed. I guess that's all I have to ask you, and uh, thank you for your time. Anyways, wait, 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 wait. Why is, why is he showing so much respect for me? <laughs> We're basically the same person. He's like freaking bowing down to me and everything. It's like... <laughs>
That's kind of awkward though. All right, so 2023 Oscar. First of all, I'm not gonna show as much respect as I did to you to 2022 Oscar, but I'm um, pretty sure you're still pretty similar to me right now. But uh, did you end up getting that new car you wanted? And were you able to transfer to that degree? And if so, how's that doing for you? But anyways, that was my 51 questions of time as well as that extra special segment there that I don't even know what I should call it. Hope you guys have enjoyed hearing me ramble for like 20 minutes straight once again and uh, if you have make sure you hit that like button down below. Uh, let's aim for maybe 8 likes on this video. Is that possible? Subscribe of course if you haven't already. Uh, hit, hit that notification bell as well so that you'll be notified every time a new video comes out and uh, yeah I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye!